Welcome, my friends, my brothers and sisters in the Lord Jesus Christ. And to you, my friend, and able to watch this video here in my YouTube channel and also in my Facebook. It's a wonderful thing to continue to know the plan of God into our lives. In order us not to give up our hope our plans our desires especially in serving the lord it's my great joy that you are here watching and it's my great honor to be with you in this wonderful time to remind of god's plan to be reminded of god's purposes into our lives I know sometimes life is tough. Sometimes life is hard. But it will become more harder without knowing the plan of God into our lives. Maybe you hear about God's plan into us. But I'm here again to empower you, to encourage you, to remind you how important the plan of God into your life, in our lives and I would like to reflect on this word. Our verse for today that I would like to share with you, my friends, even though in times of tribulation, in time of troubles, I would like to refresh this Bible verse, a wonderful Bible, Bible verse here in, in the Bible. It says in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, for surely I know the plans I have for you. This is personal. Wow. Says the Lord, plans for your welfare and not for harm to give you a future with hope. Jeremiah 29, 11. This is a wonderful reminder to you, my friend, and for myself that sometimes we lack of that confidence you know we lose that confidence was sometimes we ask ourselves what's the meaning of my life why I excess and then there are times that uh, the meaning of our lives depend to the material things that we have or we achieve but along the way it's draining us uh, along the way in making us weak, lonely, and sad. But here, here is the word of God. Here is the word of God reminding you personally. And, is, and Jeremiah, prophet Jeremiah said, For surely God has a plan for you. This is the word of God that Jeremiah shared to us shared to you my friend for surely god said i know the plans i have for you so if you see the engineer architect they plan to build that bridge or building or a big project so they plan for ahead that this is this goes this way the master planner of everything is our God. He said he has a plan for us. Greater plan. That's why we exist here in this world with a greater purpose. And it's a wonderful thing to be reminded that God said, this is his word. This is his word for you and me, my friend. Plans for your Welfare. Wow. Plans for our welfare. Plans for our successful life. Plans for our protection. Not for harm. No. Not to harm us, but to empower us in order us to know that we are important in the grace 
and in the presence of God. That we are important in the presence of Christ, in the body of Christ. Maybe today you feel like, I have no purpose in my life. You've been through many things. You feel lonely, you feel sad, you feel alone. But know that God has a plan for you to prosper, to grow. Maybe we've been, we've been, uh, we've been controlled by all the negative things into our life. Especially when we look to the world, we, we hear the news, you see the world is a lot of negative things that can hinder our happiness and joy that God always reminded us through the death of His Son, to the death of our Lord Jesus Christ on the cross. That Christ redeemed us, saved, for, saved us, died for our sins. He was buried and resurrected. It's a great reminder, my friends, that, hey, God loves you. God cares for you. That's why one part of the Word of God in the Bible, it says James and James and the apostles or Peter, cast all your cares into the Lord because He cares for you. He cares for you. We just need to look for the grace of God. We just need to come back and, and remind ourselves about God's plan into our life. God said, I have a plan. I have a plans for you. Plans for your welfare, not to harm you. To give you a future with hope. Giving us a future with hope. Maybe we say, how could I I succeed and then and then you are surrounded with negative people in your life or you hear a lot of negativity and someone say oh you are not good enough you will not succeed but remember as apostle paul said i can do all things through christ who strengthens me who empower me who give me that extra strength to continue to succeed no so like a plant like a plant my friend plant will keep growing even in the dirty waters so here you can see dirty water does not stop plants from growing it will never stop the plants growing so don't let negative words stop your progress maybe you hear that god has a plan for you but you hear a lot of negative things into your life and you feel discouraged oh i will not succeed we be we, we become more self-pity god give us a gift god design us we are created in the image of God and His likeness. And through the death of His Son, through the love of God, through our Lord Jesus Christ, He empowered us and He will give us the power to succeed just like Apostle Paul. So today, if you feel like you are alone, no one, no one appreciate you, and then you feel like you're sinking down, Keep growing even in the negative surrounding. Even you are in the most darkest part into your life. There is always the light. There is always hope to continue because God has planned for you not to harm you. We All the negativity, just like what happened uh, to the world today, you see... You see uh, calamities, problems, it will not hold you to look to God, to look to the promise of God. And that's what Jesus said. We should come to Him. We should give our burdens to Him. And remember, look at those birds that are flying. They take good care of them. How about us that we are created by God? God loves you. 
God's empower you. We just need to look for God's grace. And remember that when we feel upset, there, there is some Bible verse that you can read. You can read personally for yourself. If you feel upset, just read John chapter 14. Open your Bible and bring your Bible up and then read. If you feel upset, just read John chapter 14. And then if you feel weak, that you lose the strength, open your Bible in the Old Testament. Go to Psalms chapter 18 verse 1 and 29. Read it for yourself. If you feel lonely into your life, you feel a loneliness. Go to Psalms 23. And remember at Psalms 23, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Read that whole verse to you. If you feel sin, you, you, you feel that you committed sin to God, read Psalms 51 into your life. Ask God for a cleansing and let the healing, cleansing and forgiveness of God be upon you. If you feel that worried for many things, you feel like worried, anxiety, overtaking your life, open your Bible in the New Testament in Matthew, Matthew chapter 8, verses 19 and 31. Read it for yourself. If you feel anxious into your life, open your Bible again and read Philippians chapter 4. Verses 4 and 9. Read it for yourself. If you feel unhappy, you feel that that joy is gone, open your Bible in Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 to 17. Again, if you feel unhappy that you want to experience that real happiness, the real joy, read Colossians chapter 3. Verse 12 and 17. If you feel danger for your safety, read Psalms 91. Because remember, God's plan not to harm us, but for our welfare, for our future with hope. If you feel danger, trust in the Lord completely. Read Psalms 91. If you feel depressed, you feel unhappy, and you want to give up and surrender, Always remember and read this verse in the Bible, Psalms 27. Open your Bible, Psalms 27. And if you feel that your faith is not enough and you feel like my faith is getting weak, read Exodus chapter 14 in the Old Testament. If you feel lack of faith, you need to revive your faith. You need to empower your faith. Read this Exodus, the whole chapter of 14. If you feel others that unkind, they are not kind to you, they are not kind to us. We keep telling and sharing the word of Christ. Let's read John chapter 15. Read the, the Bible into your life and you can see this emergency thing that's here, gathered in the Word of God, and you will surely appreciate the plan of God into your life. This is the greatest plan into our lives that God granted to us in order, in order us not to give up, but to continue going forward, living positively, trusting God in His miracle works and His plan into our lives. Through our prayers, through our reading Bible and worshiping God, we will continue to grow in our faith. Even we are surrounded by negative thoughts, negative words, you will see the grace of God into our life. Let's focus into our eyes to Christ, to Jesus Christ, the finisher, the author of our faith who died on the cross for us. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, Thank you so much that today you reminded us about your plan into our lives. Thank you, God, that you never leave us nor forsake us. You always empowered us, O oh God. You always remind us of your amazing grace. 
Thank you, God, that nothing impossible with you. Forgive us for our sins. Forgive us for our shortcomings. Cleanse our mind. Cleanse our soul. And God, help us to grow in our faith. And I pray for everyone today who lose hope into their lives that I pray in the name of Jesus they can feel Jesus, your comfort, your healing, and they can feel that they are valuable, they are worthy, they are precious in your sight, that God, you have a plan into their life, that they access into this world to become a greater impact in a positive thing in that uh, in your plan for them and to us, God. We praise you, we honor you, we glorify your holy name. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you work for us today. And you, might, you remind us of your word. We praise you. We glorify your holy name. Cleanse our heart and forgive us for our sins. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Don't forget to share your prayer requests. Bye-bye.